Hello Biscuits, it's Cupcake Kami Summer back here. Finally! With a pre-order I think I've been hinting at. A couple of months back now. Barok, which is a Korean brand, put up this gorgeous photo shoot of the newest print called Repose of Queen. And I literally fell in love with it. So after a little bit of emailing back and forth with a couple of questions, which they were amazing, I mean the difference, time difference between UK and South Korea is about 7-8 hours. So I was messaging in the evening my time, which would have been middle of the night for them, they were still responding to me, like within minutes. Incredible. Just generally. The, my experience with Baroque service is absolutely incredible. And now, after all those months of waiting, I want to say it was like four months now. <laughs> four months since I placed the, the pre order. This is finally here. And I'll be slightly cheeky and tease you a little bit in that there's a surprise coming up later in this video that's related to what's inside here. For now though, let's free Repose of Queen from its cardboard prison. Ta-da! This is my first time ordering with Baroque. So, they sent it in this very gorgeous plastic bag with their logo. Oh, I can so feel things inside here. I ordered what they call a tea time dress, which it's hard to say whether it's a JSK or an OP. It doesn't have straps like a JSK would. But what's there? It's more like a cap sleeve than anything, so you could sort of... It's bordering that line between JSK and OP. And I got um, the matching headphone. And I believe later after I placed the order and paid for it, then I spotted on the Facebook page an info saying any order over $300, you'll get a free pair of tights in a random colour from the series. So I'm interested to see if it's there. Oh my god. Oh. Yes, there's a pair of tights. Ah. I'm getting ahead of myself. As you may have already glimpsed, I got this set in white ivory. They did say the tights are going to be in a random colour, you're not guaranteed that they'll match. But they do. In all fairness, I've never actually worn the Baroque tights I got previously. And some people in my com have said that they're not that good for stretch. So I might struggle. Still nice to have them. Let's start with the head bow because it's right there. They called it a tassel bow. Quite aptly so. I assume it's the material it's made out of is the same as the dress, which if that's the case, oh that's lovely. But what I really like about it It's not just a head bow, it's also a two-way clip. So you can take the headband off completely, or just move it however you want and use this somewhere else. It's a very nice touch. Now let's get to the dress. What they listed on Facebook was size S slash M and an L slash XL. And based on the measurements, it does have partial sharing at the back. I went for the smaller one because it should still fit sticker on it says M, so 
Let's hope. Ooh, such a nice material. Aha! Sorry, <laughs> one bit at a time. So. This is what the top of the dress looks like. And you can see what I mean about it being a hybrid, not quite a JSK, not quite an OP. The cap sleeves are quite puffy. Very stretchy, but so should, uh, so should still accommodate a blouse underneath. I'm slightly disappointed that the lace around the sleeves is a bit scratchy. Hidden side zip. Waist ties, which are not removable. And the ties for the front. Ah, I see what they've done there. You have two ties there. And the same two ties at the back. So you could either tie them at the front, or you could pick the side ones and tie them on the sides. Over here, I hope you can see, there's two tiny buttons. Why would there be buttons, you might ask? Well, the dress was advertised as Repose of Queen Tea Time Dress with Tassel Overdress. Now it wasn't pictured with the tassel overdress anywhere, and you could buy it separately. So I wasn't sure if I was actually going to get it. However, there it is. So the tassel is the same quality as the ones on the headboard, they're nice and soft. The overdress itself is on an elastic, so it should fit a fair fair range of sizes and it's made of very lovely sheer chiffon. However, the pièce de résistance is this. This gorgeous, lush, royal print truly a repose worthy of a queen is why I got it. Whichever colourway I looked at, and this dress came in for ivory, mint, oddly enough, wine and black. It looked equally stunning in all of them. Thought the white one would fit my wardrobe best, although I really did have to think about should I get the white, should I get the wine? White, wine, white, wine. I almost needed a drink of white wine after that, except I don't like wine. But it's, I thought, on this the print, on every print pops without being too obnoxious. As much as such a print can be not obnoxious. And then at the bottom, it's finished with two layers of ruffles. There are some loose threads here and there, but nothing major. Such a beautiful dress. And I'm very pleased to say that pattern matching on it is rather well done. You only really start to notice bits when you get to this chair, which has kind of duplicated itself. Otherwise, you really wouldn't see it. I'll be honest, what this pre-order has taught me is that I don't like doing pre-orders because I got it very excited oh my gosh i'm gonna get it then i kind of forgot that i've done it because they did say um estimated shipping time mid july which then moved until end of july and as it got closer to me actually receiving it i started to think what if i don't like it totally daft thought but 
this is what you start thinking when it's been forever since you've ordered something and it's still not here. But then, as I said, Baroque's been very good with communicating. They did send in with the MS, which, personally, if you're not from the UK, you might not understand. Personally, I dreaded because the company that handles EMS in the UK I've had all kinds of issues with and I do not trust them with anything, let alone something as precious and expensive as a Lolita dress. Luckily for me, I did ask Baroque upon ordering if they could mark down the package and I said what would be an ideal sum I'd like them to declare, but that's ridiculously low. I did say, you know, anything below this amount will be of massive help to me. And they actually declared that lowest value I asked them. I still got hit with customs, but not not a lot. Something that I, I was like, do you know what, I'm really happy with it because I was worried that I'd get with customs on the full amount that I paid. And because it's, it's an indie brand and because this is new and pre-order, including shipping this whole set cost me 420 US dollars so if I got hit with customs on that I think I might start hating the dress there's but one matter left to solve and this is to see how this beauty fits so let's try it on then And I'm back. <laughs> As you can tell, I have modelled this exact dress at Dream Masquerade Carnival in London. I was extremely lucky to be picked by The Rock, who are remote vending at the event, to model for them. And having done it, I do have regrets about not getting that bonnet. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm very happy with the head bow. I just wish that I got the bonnet as well. Even though it's not the usual kind of bonnets I go for, I prefer mine to be tall and hard and not so much flimsy floppy. <laughs> However, as I hope you've gathered, the dress is an absolute dream. It fits properly. Actually, the one I modelled was, I think it was a size smaller than the one I got. Because with mine, I have absolutely no issues zipping up, whereas with the other one, I did need some help from a fellow model. But I just adore it. It was worth every penny and every minute spent waiting for it. And having said this, thank you very much for watching this unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've liked the little sneaky bits from the fashion show. Please like this video, comment, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, I'm encouraging every one of you to check out my blog, Cupcakes and Unicorns, where you'll find more Lolita content, including more information on Dream Masquerade Carnival, where I have modelled and which I have glimpsed over here. Until next one, take care. Bye!